All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, in sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom unto the Akwath, which is the woman believer, Shalom unto you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We are programmed to believe and to understand. We are programmed. The way that we move, the way that we see things is because the Lord blessed us. So it says, for by grace are you saved, which is favor. Only the elect receive grace. And which we hope to be, which I hope to be. And that not of yourself is the gift of the most high. See, when a, a gift is something that's given unto you. So you didn't make yourself part of the elect. The works that you do come on the Lord. Matter of fact, I said not of works, lest any man should boast. Now, the scripture says faith without works is dead. So what do the scripture mean? That means that the works that you do is of the Lord. It's the spirit that the Lord have on you. You can't take credit for nothing. OK, you can't take credit for nothing. Always remember that. For we are his workmanship. See? This is the spirit that the Lord have given us. Created in uh, Hamashiach Yahweh unto good works, which the Most High have before ordained that we should walk in them. All right. So the Lord is the one that make us to do what we do. The days that you go out when you really don't want to, that's the spirit of the Lord. It might be cold as hell outside that day. Hot as hell that uh, hot, you know, hot that day. And or guess what? You win this flesh. Some days you just be like, man, I really don't feel like going through this today. You could be tired. Physically. But the Lord, he compel us through his spirit and also through the grace that he bestowed upon us, man. It says, whoso fear the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. So he said this to Jeremiah also, before I knew thee, I, for, um, I, always, I always say it wrong. And that's a scripture that I used to know by heart, but I haven't read it in a while. Before I formed thee, see, it's I always say I always say it backwards. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before you came as forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, which means to make you holy, to set you apart, and ordain you a prophet unto the nations. So, verse fourteen, it said, "To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb." So, everything that you do is ordained. Everything that you do is controlled. The Lord is the one that gave you the ability to do what you do. Why is you proud? Like it's stupid. I, all, I, I, I hate proud people because you act, the people that's proud, they act like they came up with this truth by themselves. They act like they was born with it. They act like they didn't enter into other men's labors like we all have. Every man that you see on the earth that's in the truth, learn from another man. Our great apostles of Great Millstone had elders before them was elders. OK, so. Cut it out, man. And I'm speaking in general. This is not to anybody in particular. I just know proud people like you got these other camps out here. Young startups like the um, the leader from the Wi-Fi. He act like he um came up with this truth. He be rebuking the uh, apostles and stuff like that. Like, man, but hey, we're going to see how it work out for you. But the point is, is that everybody who got this truth, everybody who, you know, rehearsed the righteous acts, the Lord put the spirit on you. Remember, the Lord said that every man got his measure of faith and faith is the action word. So that means you're going to have men who do more than others because that's the spirit that the Lord put on. you. But you can't judge a man who do less because everybody have their own measure. But but back to the topic at hand, the reason that you do what you do, see things the way that you see things, understand the way that you understand things is because the Lord blessed you. 
right? He set you apart. Now, the point is at the end of the scripture. So it says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you, a judgment shall, you shall condemn. Because remember, the persecution is coming. The accuser of the brethren is about to, you already know he got a compilation of Hebrew Israelites just doing some shit they shouldn't be doing. But we all going to be tied into one group. So, you know, we're about to be cast into a bad light. In, in, at the world and, and guess what The way that Esau is going to flip it And I just feel this in the spirit The way he's going to flip it He's going to make it seem like we the problem Like the reason that the world is so bad Is because of us But that's the persecution that we got to go through So it says um, This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, And their righteousness is of me Saith Yahweh. See that's the point Their righteousness is of me Saith Yahweh. Bosh and I was shy man so everything that we do, all the videos that we make, you cannot do it without the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, this would just be a thing that everybody do. Apostle Tahar always say this. It should be a million camps. It should be a camp on every corner in Babylon the Great. But is it? No, because everybody don't have the grace, the favor. Everybody's not part of the elect. The Lord is not dealing with everybody, but according to Christians, all you got to do is say sweet Jesus. And guess what? You a man or woman of the Lord now. So it don't work that way. So it says, henceforth, I call you not servants for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, because we understand the mysteries. The Lord said, surely I would do nothing except I reveal of my secrets unto the servants, the prophets. So for you people out there who think, oh, how you know that's the name or that's not the name or playing with the name, then you calling the Lord a liar. The Lord want us to, to praise him, but we don't got his name. That don't make no damn sense. So I'm just using that as an example. But yeah, knowing the prophecies. That's a beautiful thing. The scripture says that the spirit of prophecy is the spirit of Yahweh Shai. So we have to know prophecy. How the hell are we supposed to go out here and warn people? The scripture says, warn my people from me. If we don't know anything, how are we warn it from what? So, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father. I have made known unto you. See? So you have people out here who got 100% truth, which is a, um, a term that most camps don't like because they don't have 100% truth and they hate men who say they got 100% truth. The favorite saying is nobody has 100% truth. Well, you calling the Lord a liar. So it says you have not chosen me. He said, I'm going to say, matter of fact, he said, I'm going to send you a comforter and she'll abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth. All right. Then that that's a just John 14 and 16 and, and, and 17. Then, then in John 14 and 26, it said that I'm going to send you a comforter and you should know all things which is the Holy Spirit. So um, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. This is the point. All right. So we are programmed to believe and understand and see things the way that we see because the Lord chose us, man. But remember, many are called, few are chosen. That's what, that's what we're hoping. We're hoping to be chosen. There's a lot of people who've been called and fought out. So it says, uh, and ordained you that you should bring, go and bring forth fruit. And most of us are fruit, you know, we the fruit that, that was brought in and that your fruit shall remain that whatsoever you shall ask the father in my name, he may give it to you. So if you don't know the name, what you praying for? I'm talking about to you people out there who, who like to still call on Jesus, but you are a Hebrew Israelite. You'd still like to say Christ, but you are a Hebrew Israelite. And then you have the audacity to teach people that name. You might as well go back to the Christian church. And then it's like the Lord said, whatever you ask in my name, I would give it to you. You might as well stop praying because he ain't answering your prayers. So it says these things I commanded you and that you love one another. And if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world will love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hate of you. See, so everything that we do. It's ordained of the Lord. It's controlled. The scripture that we always use, 
And this is literal. A man's goings is of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? None of us grew up talking about we we're going to be a prophet of Yahweh Shai. All right. We, we was going to be out there on the highways and byways in Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai's name. Nobody never said that coming up as a kid or child. I mean, because a kid is a goat. So none of us said that. This is how you know that this is divine. So to end it on this, like I said, this is just a quick exhortation to basically to keep you humble. And I'm talking to myself first. So it says, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices susceptible to the most high by Yahweh Shahabashiach. You have to be called to be able to do that. So it said, wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, Yahweh Shai, elect precious, and he that believe on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, talk about the elect, the ones who believe, therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallow, the same is made the head of the cornerstone. Now look at this, number eight. And a stone of rock of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, where unto also they were appointed. So you have the opposite side. So you have the ones who are appointed to believe and you have the ones who are appointed to not believe, which means that the Lord controls what a man do. If you a scoffer, that's just your lot. If you a believer, that's just your lot. And it says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show, show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which is this truth, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of the most high. Why is the Lord saying this to Peter? Because I'll, I'm, I'm just going to use today's um, analogy. To make it easier to understand because the Greek thing and the Gentile thing is annoying. It's getting annoying now. Before you came into the truth, you was calling yourself an African-American. You were celebrating Christmas. You was doing the customs of the world. You, you was calling yourself a Puerto Rican. You was calling yourself, you know, the 12 tribes. OK, the so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. You was calling yourself that before you came into the truth. Now you're calling yourself after a Hebrew name. You're calling yourself after your tribe before. So what were you before you was calling yourself by a Hebrew name, coming back to your custom and calling yourself of your tribe? You will be considered a heathen. It's no difference between you and the heathen because your practice is the same. You're not a heathen by flesh. You're a heathen in spirit. It's real simple. But back, let's read 10 again, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of the most high, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. OK, so the point of this video, we are programmed to believe and to see the things that we see to understand because the Lord had mercy, grace upon us, man. That's it. So you shouldn't be proud. You should be humble. So all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the water for another day that he allowed us to believe. Always thank the Lord for that. Shalom.